Hi everyone, um, so I'm back with another craft haul. This is a mixture of stuff from scrapbook.com and Paper Maze. Um, quite a few bits that I've sort of accumulated over the last couple of weeks um, that I just haven't had time to film. So yeah, we'll jump straight in. So the first things I've got from Paper Maze were the um, some Distress spray stains that I love. So I got, I haven't had a few of these for a while. So I got the Dried Marigold and the Ground Espresso. Um, just because I'm thinking of doing an orangey sort of album brownish sort of album for my Budapest one so I wanted some more options with these ones so yeah so I'm looking forward to using those so another two to add to the collection um so from scrapbook.com I got some of these page protectors <sighs> I'd love to be able to order all the ones from scrapbook.com because they are a lot cheaper than the ones we can get back here in the UK but the postage is just atrocious when you add on like the thicker obviously like the more um page protectors so I've had to gone with you know just a, a 10 pack basically um but I wanted these ones because these are 8 by 12 and these are the you know obviously the four six by four portrait ones which I was sort of struggling with the other day so I thought I'd get them because I thought they were quite a nice little addition to add to the stash um for when I'm doing my project life and things so I got those and then all the new paper collections. So first we've got, I do it as I normally do it, like this. So for once, I actually got the collection kit from Simple Stories because I normally buy obviously just the papers and the um, sticker sheet separate because it's normally cheaper. Um, however, <laughs> um, and also because I don't use the papers, so I only use the cut aparts, but because this is the live capture collection, which has got the cut apart sheet for every month, as well as just the sticker sheet, it seemed wise just to get the collection kit. So that's what I got. So I've already opened it up, um, but obviously inside you've got um, 12 cut parts and the sticker sheet. So they might be upside down, so we'll go through them. So you've got um, January, and I love the colours this year. Again, they're more pastel-y and bright, um, so I love these. So you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five six seven eight yeah eight three by fours and two six by fours so that's exciting um so yeah january then you've got february which i love how they play a little bit on the the months sometimes it's nice that you can move them around but other times sometimes you just want to look at february's paper and that's what you're going to use for that particular week or page um so yes yeah, so you got february and obviously they've all got a calendar each which is nice and obviously the they've all got the same of these which is nice as well so yes yeah, so that's february march very green which is nice april cute may June, nice dark blues and browns. Very nice little cameras there. Like a smaller version of that one. July, very patriotic for obviously the 5th of July in the United States. <laughs> I nearly said the United Kingdom then. So yeah, really cute. August. September, October, cute, I wonder if there is some, yeah, like this one, I wonder if they go together, so I'm getting distracted, no, I just wondered if you could make a 6x4 out of those but then don't quite work. Anyway, so yeah, October. <laughs> nice flowers. Uh, November. Mm. And then December, which I thought would be a bit more Christmassy, but it's not, which is fine. I have enough Christmas stuff. Um, but yeah, really, really cute. 
just a nice, nice grid of paper. So that's that, and then obviously you've got the sticker sheet, which is lovely as well. I love all these little hearts. They're probably my favourite. So yeah, cute. So that's live captured from Simple Stories. Then you've got the Harvest Market. Um, let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit. The Harvest Market, um, which is a really, really lovely autumn collection. Um, I'm actually almost done with my autumn collections, but I wonder if I can fit a few more in for my project life. Um, so this is really, really cute. I love all this. I love all the little chicks and the little pumpkins and I love the colours as well. Um, I love the blues in there as well. They don't normally appear in the autumn ones. So that's cute. And then you've got these little, they're not two by twos, they're probably a bit bigger than that. Um, but really, really cute little, like, they remind me of like alphabet when you're at, like kids, basically. So I think that's really cute. So yes, yeah, so you've got those that you can cut out. Then you've got the tags. So I love these. I love this designer. I think her name's Kelly. Um, so you've got the blank ones on the back as well, if you want some blank ones. Then you've got the journal elements, which are really lovely. Cute little pumpkins on the back. Then you've got the three by fours. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Three by fours. And then the four by fours, which are obviously like adverts and stuff, but they're really cool. I love these. Six by six. Cute. I love this one because we actually say autumn in the UK, so that's really cool to see that. So that's that one. Then the next collection is the Simple Life by Simple Stories. And this is really cute, like greys and greens and blues. And I just thought this was really, really lovely. Um so yeah, sticker sheet, very homely. You can use that in winter as well because obviously the colours and stuff. So you've got the tags, and then obviously you've got the blank ones on the back. Then you've got the journal elements. The three by fours. I just love all this colour. Such a nice sort of placid collection. Then the mixture of 4x4s four four and 2x2s. Two and then the 6x4s. Sorry, I should move the camera. <laughs> yeah, 6x4s. By, uh, six by Cute. So they're the Simple Stories ones. And then I got some bits from Prima. Um, so I love the 31 collection from um, Prima last year. And they've got a similar one out for this year, which is the Luna collection. And this is the Luna Lena um, 3x4 sort of cut apart sheet. And I absolutely love it. Um, I just love the pinks for Halloween. I'm just a real pink person for Halloween. I think it looks so cute. Um, so I've got the cut aparts. They also have these really cute little cats in the background. But, like he's cute. Like, I love the fact that it's all about like cats. It's not all about cats, but there's cats in pretty much anything. Um, because obviously I have cats, so cute then these little um tags it's the pumpkin spells page you can cut out it is very similar to their 31 collection but that's fine that's why i didn't get too much of this one because i still have the paper pads and um the three by four cards and stuff i am tempted to get three or four three by four cards with this one because it is really really cute and i've enjoyed using it. i used it in my project life um for this week as well which is good and this is the 31 page and again you can cut these things out so that's quite nice and i think they're really really cool so yeah so that's the um luna collection halloween collection then i also got some bits for the candy cane collect candy cane lane collection um so i got the festive feeling tags again i just thought the pinks and the reds were really cute in this one and then this one's called Christmas Magic, and again, you can cut them out. And 
and then the Sweet Christmas, which is the three by fours. I try not to get too much with Christmas collections because I do have loads of stuff, um, like bits and pieces from UK shops and stuff. So I try not to get too much with it. Um, so I do tend to just get the papers for the Christmas things. And then the new collections from Carter Bella. Um, we've got homemade. So this is really cute because it's got little tiny little bumblebees and chicks and stuff on there. So this is quite nice. I love this as well. Um, never seen a red or a blue chicken, but they are cute. So yes, yeah, so this is the sticker sheet. Then you've got the four by fours. So yeah, I love all these like little houses with the colours in them. And then the six by fours. And then the three by fours, which is really nice few sort of landscape ones. I always try and look and see if there's any landscape ones. <laughs> there's only one there, um, but we will roll with it. And then they've just got the ad hoc sort of ones, the tiny little ones and two by twos and some more six by fours and stuff. So really cute. So that's that one. Then I've got the little boy collection. We've got quite a few friends with little boys. Um, we've got one on the way actually, which is really exciting because I can't wait to meet him. Um, so I got the little boy collection from Echo Park and it's very bright and colorful. Lots of blues and reds, yellows, greens. So primary sort of colors. Um, but yeah, cute little toys and stuff. So I thought it'd be quite nice when I do go meet some of our kids, uh, not my kids, my friend's kids. <laughs> Um, so little six by fours. Did I say Echo Park? These are Cartabella. This is Cartabella as well. <laughs> Just realised that the, the feel of the paper made me realise it's Cartabella. So these are some six by fours and four by fours. Three by fours. And the odd one here. Cute. And then this, I believe, is Echo Park. Is it? Yeah, this is Echo Park. So this is the Snowden collection. So this is the winter ones, which I love. Um, I have got another one at the bottom. For some reason, they're not in order. Um, but this is one of the two from Echo Park. And this is Snowden. And I love this because I love the greens and the blues together. I love all these little checked animals as well. So this is the sticker sheet. Then you've got the four by fours. The three by fours. It's cute. Then there's sort of everything really. Six by fours, little things you can either that we can make that into a six by four or cut them out. Um two by twos, little tabs. And then the six by fours. So that's that one. Um, and then go on to the uh, Pink Fresh Studio collection. So this is the Simply the Best collection. So I got the um, first, the cut apart. So this is Happy Times. This is just like little tags that I could cut out and use. Um, so I thought they were quite nice. I love all this, like the recorded and love this and stuff. So if I cut those out. Then you've got the Roll With It cut apart sheet. Again, with loads of random bits and pieces on. It was quite nice. Then you've got the chill out paper as well. Again, you can cut these out and use them as an, you know, embellishments or just parts of the page and stuff. So that was quite nice. And then I got the, uh, what's this called? Truly Epic one. So there's quite a few card parts sheets for this one. Um, so I cut all these out and use them on my pages for Project Life or, you know, travel scrapbook or whatever is best for it. So then with this, obviously I got the stickers as well. So I got the card stock stickers, there's 62 of them. Um, and I love these. I do love Pink Fresh stickers because they're very realistic. You know, good food, good mood sort of thing, typical. So, so relatable. <laughs> Literally, they are very relatable. So I thought they were quite cute. 
So I got those. Then I got the Delightful collection, which I think is their spring collection. Um, so I got the stickers, but I'll show those in a minute because I just got a few, I didn't get as many uh, cut parts. So this is the Be a Rainbow one. It's just got long, like quite a few sort of strips, nice sort of tabs, odd sort of shapes, but would be quite nice to use. Then I got this one, which is the Flourish, but I'm going to cut all these out. Basically, I'm going to use these as word sort of, uh, not stickers, word sort of embellishments because I love those. I love little word things, so I thought it'd be quite nice to cut those out. Um, then I got the Happy Thoughts, which are like three by threes, um, but they're just nice, just nice little quotes and stuff on them you can use. And then I got the stickers, obviously the same style, the cardstock stickers, there's 46 of these. They're a bit big. I love this. Remember, if something could go wrong, it could also go right. So, yeah, really cute. So that's that collection. Then I just got these from the um, Good Times collection, which I got just one sheet. Cause I didn't have any other car parts. They've just got the one. Um, so this is the gratitude sheet. Um, and it's more autumn-y sort of vibes. Um, but I did get the ephemera for these. So it's all them on the back, which are really, really cute. So I look forward to using those. So that's a good times from Pink Fresh. And then the last one I got from Pink Fresh is the Happy Holidays. Again, I didn't get much for Christmas because I do actually have some bits from their collection last year, which will match. So I didn't feel like I had to get some exactly the same for this year. Um, so I've got the Happy to, oh, no, Holiday Traditions cut apart for this one. And then the Holly Jolly, which are like, I don't really know what size they are, two and a half. They're just a bit bigger than two, but not so three. Um, but they're cute because obviously got the, the dates basically of the month up until 25. So they're cute. And then the last collection from Echo Park, which was at the bottom for some reason, is the Magic of Winter. Um, so it's just the shades of blue and cream, which are really cute. Um, so I just got the... Um, sticker sheet for that one the six by fours the four by fours i hope it snows this year <laughs> or next year because i do want to use some more of these and then the three by fours so that's everything. So that's everything that I've got the last couple of weeks. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'm sure I'll be back shortly uh, with some more bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Bye.